Right now, let's turn our attention to a man who is able to string words together to make them listen well. His name is Vitus and is painting a picture of the artistic nature of Ghana. Take a look at this now. So when I first decided that I wanted to do art, I received quite some interesting feedback. I had people going, art? Really? And still others went, you sure you want to do art? Aren't you too smart for that? And no, I particularly found this one intriguing. Someone burst out art and waste all this intelligence as though I said I wanted to be him, but never mind. But see, all of these responses had me wondering if I got the meaning of art wrong. So I looked it up, and here's what I found. That art is the expression and application of creative skill and imagination. So I asked myself, how does this suggest not intelligent or less smart? Because even the word smart itself has got some art in there. But then I found the problem. See, the problem is being surrounded by a society that looks down upon art yet idolizes the celebrities of art. The problem is this same society that looks down upon art yet awards celebrated artists with honorary degrees and doctorates. It's more like they're saying art is not that smart, but after you get far with your art, then you all of a sudden become smart enough to deserve a PhD. How sad. See, there is a fundamental problem with our value system. And if you're still in this 21st century, hold a primitive mindset that art is for people who couldn't have made it in science, then I'm sorry to say. But you, my dear, are conclusive proof that the term illiterate should not just be limited to people who cannot read and write. See, art requires as much intelligence as any other field of study would. As a matter of fact, every profession requires intelligence, but just not in the same direction. Or maybe we never took the time to explain the science and the art. Take, for instance, Comedy, <laughs> an art designed to drive its audience into laughter. Now see, the human body is a complex maze of neural network, which is responsible for different actions on the body. So essentially, a comedian is one who knows the necessary strings to pull and the right choice, sequence, and context of word needed to excite this neural network into exuding a state of rapturous laughter. Now tell me, tell me this activity doesn't transcend art and delve right into the heart of neurology. Well, no wonder they say laughter is medicine. So the next time a stand-up comedian mounts stage, I'm going to have you call him a surgical artist. For these geniuses can actually medicate someone with a hole in heart and make him hole in heart without even touching him. Now see, all of this scientific explanation to the art was absolutely irrelevant, but I had to do it for the intelligibly questionable ones whose understanding of intelligence is only seen through the lens of science. So that was just a cue for their eyes to see things better, so I guess we can call it an IQ check. And I'll have you know that Rowan Atkinson, known popularly by his art name, Mr. Bean, a man who made a whole generation laugh on many occasions without saying a word, actually holds a master's degree in electrical engineering from the Oxford University. See, if he had told you this himself, you would have thought it was one of his silly jokes when all the jokes on you. See, if you thought art was, was simple, if you thought comedy was simple, you could try it and see how easily you become the joke. See who's laughing now. See, enough with the jokes. Let's talk, let's talk fine art. Ever heard of Leonardo da Vinci? Well, the concept of IQ didn't exist in his time, but experts say he would have fallen somewhere between 180 and 190, and as such, is considered one of the most intelligent men of all time. And oh, did I say he was a painter? And so the next time you, you, you begin to think that art is child's play, maybe you could try doing fine art and see whether your art will be fine. See, I can go on and on, be it applied art, visual art, or performance art, from architects to interior decorators, photographers to animators, dancers to actors, and musicians alike. See, all of these artists put a great deal of work into their craft, and it's a shame that people enjoy these creations, and yet are not willing to pay value for them. And like that is not enough, they don't give them due credit for their work. See, maybe we should try imagining a world without artists. Yep, think about it. You take out your phone and there are no images whatsoever on any website because there was no one to create it. Nothing to read because there were no writers. You turn on your TV and there was nothing, nothing shows because there was no one to show the videos in the first place. See, I can keep going, but then there'll be no spoken word artists as well, so I might as well just keep quiet. See, trust me, that would be one hell of a boring world. For even literally, if you take out the word art from the word F, you'll be left with eh? So let us cherish art and appreciate our artists. For even God is himself a great artist. I mean, creating this entire universe in all of its magnificent splendor and molding man in a hurry like a porter. Well, I guess it's all beginning to make much more meaning while we profess how great thou art.
Ah, uh, great. Now, art, uh, that's it. And art makes my heart fat. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Vices, how are you doing? I'm doing great. Great doing poetry well. you have there. Thank how long did it take you to put this together? Um, I think about um, two days. Two, two days, days to put yeah. this together. What inspired you to put this together, by the way? Okay. Um, personally, how art is received in Ghana, mm. that is one thing that um, really inspired me to to speak on this subject because mm. I feel in Ghana, art is not given the needed recognition okay. that it deserves. Okay, and does it pay? Yeah, it's, it's growing okay. in, in our part of the world. It doesn't mm. pay as much as it should, mm -hmm. but it's growing in its rewards. Where, where and where do you perform, for example? Um, any kind of events, social events, corporate mm. events. Yeah, I perform anywhere. Yeah. When, when you decided to, to do arts, mm -hmm. I mean, how did your family take it? I'm curious to learn. Um, <laughs> I, I think um, initially, it was it was um, new to them because they've known that this person has always been in the science, mm -hmm. and he, he it's not like he's not good, like he's doing pretty well right. um, where he is, and then all of a sudden, so it was it was it was um, a challenge. But mm. um, with time, they got to realize, they got to see the fruits of what I'm doing, mm. and so they came to live. Why do you see poetry going, or I spoken word, if you will? I see it getting um, very far in the country. I believe poetry can be used as a tool of change, or an instrument of change to change um, the mentalities of people, mm. and I, I I see it as um, as something that people could enjoy and at the same time be imparted and influenced by. I see. I wish you all the best. You, Thank you. I'm sure you want to drop your social media handle so we can quickly you know, touch down with okay. you. Okay. So across all social media pa um, platform is Vita Speaks. V-I-T-U-S-S-P-E-A-K-Z. It's okay. one word. It's one word. Vita Speaks. Yeah, but with a Z, not an S. Okay. Vita Speaks. V-I-T-U-S-S-P-E-A-K-Z. So Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and then I have a YouTube channel and then my website is Vita Speaks. Final okay. question. What kind of topics do you explore? Um... Anything and everything. I talk about anything, um, things that are more relevant to the youth. Um, I talk about things, society. I talk about religion. I talk mm. about anything and everything. Mm. Yeah. Right. Vitus, thank you very much indeed. Thank you. And that's the spoken word artist, Vitus, telling us to respect the art and make it worthwhile. Let's put some respect on it. As I said, art makes my heart fat. Yeah, that's art. We'll see you.